the trail and we, we end up walking for eight kilometers and I wore like a dress shoes that I always wear five kilometers in and I realized that I made the biggest mistake <laughs> in my life Namaskar Birofaka family Welcome back to another video So today it's going to be a story time and based off of what we've read a lot of you guys guys in general are asking the topic is what it's like dating an indian guy and summer's gonna come up with five things that she's gonna talk about mm -hmm. and i'm just gonna be listening yes so those five things to be clear are based on my personal experiences of being with an indian boyfriend for three years a little bit over three years so they might or might not be true or they you might or might not agree with or it might be relatable to you or it might not be relatable to you yeah so, so make sure you guys don't take this and you know go the tell. wrong way yeah yes before we started this video we would like to thank every single one of you in the Hakka family keep showing us love and support we love you guys so much and keep up the good work and help us go all the way to 10k if you haven't subscribed yet make sure you subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss our next video and also guys if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys please leave a like it does help us a lot let's do it so to start with so indian guys are famous for being mama's boys which is a good thing in this context because you are very respectful to your mom to the elders in general and you have very good manners you listen well to the females in the family and also that kind of rest assure me that you know when i become a mom you will treat treat me with the same respect and the same etiquette that you show whenever you're with your mom. Always the good and cute mama's boy. So you guys are very forward thinking and very logical thinker and you guys have plans to how to use your money wisely, how to invest it some and then you some. You're always very good with that. Mm -hmm. In Cindy's, they say they're very good with money. So, so you know, they don't pay as much. Mm -hmm. He knows well on how to spend his money. Like very, very well organized. And that kind of makes me have confidence that in the future, when we need to do big purchase, for example, house, for example, a baby stroller, I will have a man by my side who will assist me to make the best choice together. So generous and gracious, um, when I say that, that means that you are very kind to others, including people and animals, and you are very generous towards many people. I'm being 100% truthful here. Many times I feel like I don't want to tip certain people that serve us, but he always tipped them. Now in Canada, we say 15% tip is what you should give mm -hmm. in restaurants. And in a lot of places, if you don't, uh, sometimes the servers might get really pissed off. Yeah. They might spit in your food too, you know. <laughs> but, well, and, and trust me, they might remember you and they'll spit in your food the next time. Um, <laughs> but not, that's not the reason why I do it, but it's because when we, when we go to restaurants, um, if I don't like the service, mm -hmm. I do tip them. Yes. But I tip them. But you 10%. still tip them. Yeah, but I wouldn't even tip them. Yeah, I, I tip them like 10% and I never see them again. Yeah. Because I don't want to You are generous, food. I kind of, to even tip them 10%. <laughs> I'm not. In terms of being romantic, there are two ways of being romantic. One is those big grand gestures, and one is are those like daily life sweet gestures here and there. You're the second one sometimes surprise me with 10 morning breakfast mm -hmm. and for example my graduation surprise party and my birthday surprise party and a lot of birthday cards and the first ever gift that you got me the dream catcher bracelet 
which I wasn't really expecting because that time I told him once or twice that I've been having a lot of bad drinks and it, it was really close to my birthday so he bought a drink catcher bracelet and he told me that this bracelet will protect you from all of the evil and it will catch all of the bad drinks for you so at that moment I was like oh my god that is just so romantic so sweet our relationship from time to time those sweet gestures really does change a lot of things and makes our relationship so much better just elevate to our next level and just for the record guys she is more sweeter than i am she does yes. a lot more things yes. that i can only imagine yes. yes she definitely does a lot more for the house than i do <laughs> i will agree with that and you know i'm glad to have her in my life because they say if a guy when a guy meets a girl you should meet somebody you know who could compare their love with the, the love you get from your mom mm -hmm. and she was actually pretty close to that mm -hmm. so i'm glad i'm it, glad too in the end it's a balance always always care about what you look based on the occasions that you go and there's a joke that i always call him overdressed king <laughs> because he always overdressed for occasions for example if we have to go to a casual birthday party well literally like at a friend's house well everybody would was just wearing like slippers and t-shirt and shorts he would actually walk in with in a summer day in a hot summer day he would actually walk in with a full suit <laughs> And I would look at him, I'm like, babe, are you sure you're not hot? Because just by looking at you, I feel hot. And he's like, that's the price that he's willing to pay. That's how far he's willing to go to, to dress himself up and to pull himself together. And willing to put that effort of dressing up, which I really appreciate. Another funny story was... Uh when we went for uh you know like a long trek like i think uh five to eight kilometer yes, yes, walk yes. it was trek. uh well i that was me to blame because i didn't do proper research i saw it was just like a nice park where we can walk for like five ten minutes and that's it but it ends it's a trial and then it's a trail and we we end up walking for eight kilometers and i wore like a dress shoes that i always wear five kilometers in and i realized that I made the biggest mistake in my <laughs> life because my shoes weren't comfortable. I was hot. I was sweaty. Yeah, and, and that is not even the worst part. The worst part is everybody walk, walk past by us, look at him <laughs> as if he's an alien walking in the park. I remember looking at him like thinking, have this guy ever went on a trail <laughs> well, before? A lot of girls. Why would he wear though. that shoes? A lot of girls, you know, looked at me and smiled. Maybe because they think you're a weirdo. <laughs> You wear a dress shoes. Why would they smile at a trail? weirdo? Why would they smile at a weirdo? There's this thing called a PT lab. <laughs> and he always looks so hot with full suits. So even if he's suffocating himself on a hot summer days, as long as it please my eyes, I'm good. Even if you're outside and I'm in the party wearing a full suit, she's not gonna yeah. be she's gonna be like this. Like the whole time, my eyes are all going to be on him, and we're gonna lock him. And and if a girl <laughs> walks past me, she's like, "Yep." Yeah. Indians are very good with food. Since I started date him, I have tried so many, so many different Indian food that I've lost count, and there's so many diversities that every single time I feel like I'm eating something different and you actually turn me into a Hakka food lover before I met you, I have no idea what is Hakka food and then and now I freaking love it if I have never um, date an uh, Indian boyfriend I don't think that I ever taste so many delicious Indian food or I will actually get to explore so many different Indian food so I guess that's a very 
very big perk of dating an Indian guy because you get to taste so freaking amazing Indian food, bro. <laughs> and to be honest, like we're lucky that we live in Toronto, where yeah. there are so many Indians and there are so many nice Indian restaurants. That's actually, he said, that's actually pretty authentic, like pretty pretty close to what we to what you guys will get in India, right? Yeah. So we're pretty lucky, and I get extra lucky by dating him and letting him to take me to all of those places. I always tell him that why the heck. Indian food sometimes is so spicy for me, but I just can't stop eating it. Sweating, like sweating, yeah, and water I'm coming like, out of her mouth yeah. and nose, and she's like, "Yeah, but I <laughs> stop." <laughs> but I'm like, I can't stop. I guess that's that's the magic of Indian food. And also another thing is, since I started dating him, I start learning about how to eat food with my hand. All right guys, so if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys please, please, please leave us a like and comment down below what you think. If you think Summer's points were actually on point, if you think, you know, there's more that could be added to it, let us know down below. Yeah. And you know, I'm probably gonna do, we're gonna do another topic where I speak about five things. It's like what it's like dating a Chinese girl. So if you're curious, make sure that you come back and stay tuned. And thanks to you again so much guys for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one. See you guys. Bye. We love you.